Previously on Frags to Riches. What am I going to do for a thumbnail? I was thinking about doing one of those like big stupid face pointy ones that everybody does. You know the whole... But um, I guess for this, like the niche ones, I'm thinking maybe all oh, shock of, you know, bought some niche fragrances or some, maybe something like this. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. Word to your mother, I've heard she's pretty damn fine. Anyway, today I am doing a first impressions of a flanker to a fragrance I absolutely love. Now, anybody that follows the channel, you'll know I fell in love with the Leighton DNA from Parfum de Mali. Uh, originally, I tried Royal Equestrian from uh, Alexandria Fragrances and I absolutely loved it. So recently, I invested in the original because I just love it so damn much so I felt like I had to. Uh, once again, shout out to PDM underscore UK on Instagram for hooking me up with a really good deal on this bottle. Now, um, I've worn this a lot since um, I picked up this bottle. I absolutely love it. So pleased with the purchase. The first day I wore it, I did a full proper wear in. I walked downstairs into the kitchen and my wife commented that I smelled really good. Uh, unsolicited compliments. So yeah, already working wonders for me. So yeah, really chuffed with, with this. Now, anybody that knows, there's a flanker to Leighton which is called Leighton Exclusive. Now, I've never smelt it. I've heard that it takes that DNA and it goes kind of even richer, even deeper. So it's where Leighton is more accessible. I've heard Leighton Exclusive is a bit more for um, your sort of fraghead who's kind of into it and likes kind of stronger, fuller, richer kind of slightly more daring fragrances so it's not as accessible and uh, easy going and mass appealing as the original Leighton. Now one of my subscribers very kindly watched some of those videos that I did on Leighton and sent me a small sample that they had of Leighton exclusive. Now um, there's not much left because they used this and then they ordered a, a full bottle for themselves so I've got high hopes. Now what I have done, I've sprayed the original Leighton on this arm, which I just love. What I will say is I do think it smells better in the air in the CRs than when you smell it up close. It's just, it blends so nicely in the CRs and you get this lovely, apple creamy, just floral yumminess, which I just sort of really love. Um, and I do think it smells better in the CRs than when you just smell it straight on skin up close. But anyway, let's see what uh, Leighton Exclusive smells like. So here we go. This is a genuine first impressions. Oh, three sprays might be a bit much. First time, oh wow. Wow, I'm already getting whiffs of it. Oh. Oh, it's... Okay, let, let me just give that a moment to settle. But currently, it's nice, but it's not as nice as Leighton as what I would say. It's, uh, to, uh, let's just give it a moment. Let's just give it a moment. As I say, I, I've heard that it's not as mass appealing and easy going as Leighton. Um, and it's not as sort of compliment getting as Leighton, but it is more expensive. Um, so let me just give it a little wave and then just try and get a, I don't want to smell too, too up close, but. Wow, it's definitely like darker and like it's got a real, it's, it's definitely like sort of a woodier, it's almost like a, it's almost like got this, it, it's kind of woodier and earthier and richer, it's almost got this sort of chocolatey vibe. So I don't know if there's patchouli in it, which often gives a sort of chocolatey kind of a call, but that might make sense because it's got this real earthiness to it, which, which I don't like. Certainly not as much as the original. As anybody knows, I'm a basic bitch as well. So when it comes to like, I just want to smell good. I'm not always about smelling these weird and wonderful accords. I just want to smell good. Yeah, this has definitely got this sort of dank earthiness about it, which is, it's 
almost bordering chocolatey, which makes me think there's there might be patchouli in there. I've not looked what the notes are, actually, to be fair. Um, and it's and it's kind of quite full on. It is almost it is oody like as well. It's got this real kind of animalic earthiness to it. So yeah, they've definitely. It's, it's definitely got similarities to the original, but they've really taken it and gone with it. It's not like a slightly more intense version, if that's what you're thinking. So emphasize that. If you're a big fan of late and you think, oh, I want to just, I mean, this, this performs really well on me. I don't know if it does you, but um, if you just want a really kind of better performing version, which I don't, I don't particularly need it, but if you were thinking, I just want to get that and make it stronger, um, perform even better, be careful, because that's not what this is. This is definitely, a different fragrance it's certainly got some similarities but it's different and it is a nowhere near as safe a blind buy as that it is a lot riskier as it's settling now it is um kind of not as full-on and it is becoming slightly that sort of earthiness is is losing losing a bit of the chocolatey and it's becoming a little bit more sort of grassy but I think it's very well blended and I can see why people would love it and again I think it'd probably be better in the CRs rather than skin but it's not for me I don't like it so much it's not as good as the OG for me um, yeah um, I might do a full wear and see how it settles down because it might develop it might change but let me know what you think. How does Leighton Exclusive compare to Leighton for you? Is it better? Is it worse? Is it just kind of not your bag? Are you a basic bitch like me and you just want to smell good and this one kind of takes it a bit too much into the kind of niche, weird and wonderful world? Let me know what you think, but it's good, but that earthy animatic accord is not, not for me, if I'm honest. So yeah. Wouldn't be buying a full bottle, but thank you to the legend that sent me that sample. I do really appreciate it. So as I say, comment below. Let me know what you think to Leighton Exclusive and how it compares to the original Leighton. And what's your favourite from the House of Puff and Damali? I'd be curious to know. Um, I need to try some more. Um, but yeah, Leighton for me is, is one of my all-time faves and it's gone straight into my top 10 fragrances for life, without doubt. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you for the next video. Take care. Much love.